Hey, Motor Man here, and today I'm going to show you a few things that come free with your Harley Davidson and that you might not know how to set. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to set a pin number in case you ever lose your key fob, and I'm going to show you how to set the time and also how to clear or find codes. So let's get right to it. Now, if you've got a police bike or an electric light standard or actually any of the soft tails, this is going to show you how to set the time. Time's going to show up here so that it's not blinking 12 o'clock forever, just like, you know, the old VCRs that no matter what you did, you could set the time, but they still kept blinking 12 o'clock uh, two days after you set it. So first thing we got to do is we're going to use this button right here. And we need to cycle through till we get to the time. I passed it by, so we're going to do it again. There it is. It's set at 8.10, and it's uh, more like 11.30. So once we get to that, we're going to hold this button in. And now it shows 12 hour. Press it again, and we got 24 hour time. If you're in the military, police officer, whatever, you know what that is. But we want to keep it at 12 hour time. So I'm going to hold that button down again. And notice that the eight is flashing. So I'm just gonna keep pressing that button. 12, one. It's 11. I'm gonna hold that so it locks in. Now the minutes start flashing. I'm gonna go up to 11, 15, 16, 17, etc. It's 1120. I'm gonna lock that in by holding it down. So 11.20 a.m., and that's all there is to that. It's gonna work the same way on a soft tail. The only thing is the button is gonna be different. I don't have a, a soft tail here to show you, but you have a, a similar button. Generally, it's up front here. Now we'll move on to how to set the pin, and that's uh, a, a little more difficult. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to set your pin, and it's probably gonna take you a few times to get this right. It, I know it did me, but it's it's a very important thing. If you ever lose your key fob and you're out in the middle of nowhere or, or your key fob battery goes dead, you got to have a pin number. So that's what we're going to set here. We're going to be using the ignition switch, the kill switch, and the left and right turn signals. So we want to make sure before we turn the motorcycle on that we got the kill switch this switch right here, it's in the off position. Turn the ignition to on. And we're going to cycle the kill switch. One, two, three, four, five, and then quickly hit the left signal two times. It's now telling me to enter a pin. So press it one more time, and the numbers show up. Right now they're all set at three. So this button here, the left turn signal, that's what's going to change those numbers. So let's make it four. And then we press the right signal again to switch to the next number. We'll make that a four as well. Press the right turn signal switch again. Notice it's flashing. Press it to four. Right turn signal again. Press to four. Right again. Press the left one till we got to all fours. Now we're going to press the right one again. It's going to go back to the original number. Shut the ignition off. Remember when you're setting this pin number, you got to have the key fob in the bike. Now to make sure that the number is set correctly, and that everything we did so far has worked. I took the key fob and I moved it about 20 feet away. Let's turn the motorcycle on. We're getting nothing because the key fob is in any place here near the bike. And notice the pin number is flashing. So I'm gonna press the left turn signal once, get that up to four. I'll press the right turn signal to get to the next number. Four, press the right one again. Press it 
press the right one again. Get that to four. One more time. The last one. Press the right once. And now the motorcycle is ready to start. Turn the switch on. And as you could hear, the bike will now start. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to bring up your codes, see if there's a diagnostic problem. The drill is going to be, make sure the kill switch is in the on position. You're going to hold the trip odometer down and at the same time, turn the ignition on. And there, as you can see, it says diagnosis or D-I-A-G. So we're gonna press the trip odometer one time ECM and there's an N after that that means there's no code the BCM we see a Y that means yes there's a code so I'm gonna press it and hold it and the code should show up which it did and you want to write that code down then check the internet or give your local dealer a call and he'll tell you what it is in this case the battery is a little low on this motorcycle so I'm gonna press it again and hold and that clears it. Now, when you start up the bike and you start riding, if the engine light comes back on, it could be because the battery is still a little low and you could go through that procedure again to clear it. And once the battery is fully charged, the engine light will go off.